three. This is a review for a superhuman, superhuman. A sh contestant ch competition show where it's the people with extraordinary abilities. They do all this stuff and they show off their cool abilities and like how everybody else is just basic humans and how we just basic and they super. Okay? So it's hosted by Cal Penn, the actor. You might see him on here and Kumar and stuff I'm like Kumar. that. I'm he was on Disaster. No, he was, he was on an epic movie. Uh, just, I, I know, Meryl Kumar. I guess. Yeah, so then they had guest panelists, Mike Tyson, this actress lady, Mary Lynn Riskoff. Oh, yeah, she's an actress and a comedian. Mm -hmm. And then brain surgeon, Rahul John Dial. Mm -hmm. And so, this comes on NBC? No, Fox. Oh, it comes on Fox. Fox. It premiered tonight on Fox. So, the show, it started off with, um... Zoe Willard, this girl, she got super memory, and she used binary memory, and basically she speak computer, because that's what computers do, they have that bi binary, binary numbers and stuff like that, and she put everything in chunks in her mind so she can figure it out. So they had her do a chess challenge where... That she saw, so they had chess pieces. They had kings and queens. They had blacks and whites. So uh, Mike Tyson and the uh, actress lady went and changed them, and they made some kind of racial jokes or whatever. And that was a little kind of weird. People was laughing at it, but they, it was weird when a white lady was yeah. making the jokes. It was, she was like, um, oh, he was like just getting confused, and she was like, oh yeah, put the take, blacks. get those blacks out of there. Yeah, because he was like, he was like, this reason. being race, this is being racial, is moving the blacks and whites because yeah, the blacks she, are behind. Yeah, but she was like, get those blacks out of here, and now everybody in the audience started laughing, I guess, or uh, and the audience team was so funny. <laughs> yeah so then they switched up the things and she, the girl only had like a few minutes to go check out the whole thing and actually memorize it like photographic memory it so she was doing it so while she she had blindfolded on she sat down in the big old thinker chair or whatever and while she was saying it cow pin touched it so she was like queen king queen queen king queen and i thought she missed something but she didn't and she got it right she got it all the way through and the person who win this is 12 contestants they win a hundred thousand dollars grand prize so i don't know if they're doing this every week though yeah, I don't know, but yeah. who was the who was the other person? She paused and recited. Then the other girl was this gymnastic girl. She's a gymnastic and dance. Her name was Brandy Wills, and she's a contortionist. She's only seventeen, and she said people was bullying her and stuff. So she didn't show them people that they stupid and it don't matter. They so are, she stupid. had to get through this intricate maze with the lasers and stuff, kind of like spies and stuff like that. So she got through it all the way to the last one. I don't know what she was doing with her head. Oh my gosh, she should just slid. I wish she would just slid up under because she would have had it. She Wait, what I thought about that cause and she, she was blindfolded I mean she didn't have to do all that extra stuff she was being really extra but I think they probably told She's her the, the producers probably told her you know don't you can't just do it you know normal I think they wanted they wanted her mm -hmm. to put on a show and show off what she could do as her you know as a contortionist yeah. so they wanted her to do like extra stuff so that made her lose because her hair, her hair touched it. Yeah. So then, I thought she did pretty good, though, for so far as to get through that 20 feet long thing. Yeah. Yeah, so, the, um, Ronnie is some guy named Ronnie White, and he used 35% more of his brain than a normal person would, and he actually did an MRI, when an MRI was going on his brain, he was using his memory, and it lit, like, lit up and stuff like that, and he used to be in the U.S. Navy, and when he first started, all of uh, uh, people, all the uh, soldiers that died, he had to, he wanted to remember all their names and remember words to them, so he made a whole big old wall that he would carry around going state to state and remember all it is and make a whole big memorial so that's how he do it so he likes to remember phone numbers he's good with the ladies but he don't have a wife or nothing and yeah so <laughs> what is that <laughs> so he got it so it's 15 women he got to remember their number they uh fact and their name mm -hmm. so he went and he went around and he did it and he he actually then after he after they told they, they names their numbers and the a fact about them they picked five women randomly out of the fifteen and he had to remember each and every one of them. But when they was getting called, Mila, what'd you say? They first of all, okay, he was like, they was like, okay, this this is how they had to do it. Mm -hmm. Um, he gave the phone number to the host guy and the yeah. host guy called him on the phone. To see, no, he called him by his. Oh, phone. he called him and to see. If that was the right woman. Mm -hmm. To see if you remembered the number. When they picked up the phone. First of all, when the phone rang. When your cell phone rang, what do you do? You just pick it up and answer it? No. You have to swipe it to answer. You have to swipe to answer on any kind of phone. Any kind of cell phone. You have to swipe it to answer it. It mm -hmm. looked like they had iPhones. All they did was pick it up and the screen was black. So I don't know what was ringing. But that made me think this show was fake. Just from that. But he got all of the women's names right and remembered all the facts about them. Yeah. 
So he got that part right. I, I, I don't know. He, it looked like he was figuring it out in his head, maybe, I guess so. But hey, explain that for cell phone thing. I don't know how to explain that. So then a math pro prodigy, Eusnir Vieta, he is a human calculator. He's from Cuba, and he was only getting $20 a month being a professor out of school. So he's like, no, I'm going to America. I'm going to get the dream. I'm here, and this is the best place to live at and stuff like that. So he got a family, and he don't do calculators. He used to do it all in his head. And that's like, oh, my God, that's so cool. That's what I like doing. So his challenge was, they was in the show, Two digit numbers and really fast, like mill oh, milliseconds. Like the last round was 100 milliseconds, which is an average of less, three times faster than the average blink. So I was like, This? No, no the average blink. <laughs> Not you blinking crazy. <laughs> anyway, so he had to do that. So he got the first round, he got it. The second round, he got it. And the third round, he got it. It was Yeah, so he cool. had to add, they showed him like 10, mm -hmm. 10 sets of numbers. Mm -hmm. And then he had to add those numbers up to see what they was. Yeah, what amount it to be. So he actually was doing addition. Yeah. Really fast addition. So he got it. And I was like, oh my God. They kept going through commercials though when they was doing it. Mm -hmm. Which was like really crazy. But then they had Will Brown. I was close to one of them. Oh yeah, it was 595 minutes at 600. <laughs> anyway, so they had Will Brown, an executive chef from Atlanta. He was amazing. And oh, all the ingredients he touch he's his palate, and he know what it is. And his mom used to be a chef, and he's from Louisiana, so he can tell whatever it is or whatever is in is in his mouth. So they had his challenge was the missing ingredients. So they had Graham Elliott, one of the master chefs from the show, Master Chef, mm -hmm. and he prepared three dishes for it. Will and he had to pick out what was the missing ingredient. Oh my god! Oh I my thought god. he was gonna get it, and he was so close. Yeah, the first dish was stuffed peppers with brown rice and some turkey stuff. Then the ground was like, you ain't ju stuff. judging me. And then he was like, no, I'm going to judge you. I'm going to judge you. Yeah, he was so. like, y'all judging me? Why can't I judge yeah. you? So he was extra. Mm -hmm. And he needs to get his own show or something. Because he's funny. I know. So he was like, smoke, pe you see the smoke? Pe paprika. That's what he was saying. Yeah, paprika. he said paprika. Or cumin is missing. So he was like, hmm, I think it's smoked paprika. Then he was like, no, it's actually cumin missing. He mm. had it. Then the second time, it was um, it was what some Indian current spice going this game hen, and he was like, well, it's either this or this miss hen, and it was green cardamom pies. He didn't get it. Yeah. But then the third one, apple caramel spice cake. It's twenty four ingredients. He was like, it's either cream of coconut missing or vanilla extract missing. I was like, it had to be a vanilla extract. That's what I was saying because and was you like, would taste that. You would taste the vanilla extract in something though. I think. I don't think so because all those other spices. I don't think so because I don't think you'd be able to taste that. I think well, if you wouldn't be able coconut, to taste it. I think if you had coconut, if you was, like, coconut, you wouldn't be able to taste it. You would be able to if taste it. If he thought that was missing, though, and he did not taste that, oh, okay. then he should have said that. Okay. So, it was, the cream of coconut was actually missing, and it, what was missing? What, what no, was missing? it was the vanilla. Vanilla was missing. And he said the other thing. Yeah. So, so, he got it wrong again, but he still got to the end, and so did Brandy. She got to the end, too, to get... To, you know, win their money. Yeah. So then they had John Bitbanek. He was a web designer. He matches patterns. So they had the Eagle Eye Challenge. So it's two walls with 18,432 18, tiles on it. It's the left one and the right one. It's like a those little cartoons when they say... It's like one of those cartoons when they say which one is... Which picture is different. Yeah. They yeah, had, I like those. They I had like Mary those. change three tiles. So it was really tiles. memory. Yeah. They had Mary, Mary change three tiles on the left wall, and the guy was blindfolded. So he had to look at both walls. So then they asked the doctor, you know, what is he about to do? And he was like, he's taking his left image and his right image, and he's putting overlapping them together. That's you why his see, eyes crossed. You can see because his eyes were so crossed. He was crossed. When he was trying to look yeah, at it. And he had to take it was a minute. little bitty, little bitty squares. Yeah, it was little bitty tiny squares. tiny squares of all different colors, mm -hmm. but it was in a pattern. Yeah, because he got the first two. Then the third one, he was stumped. He was like, oh my gosh. So he was like, well, let him take a minute. I was like, is that fair? That's not fair. They should have him do it in time. Because he, he wouldn't have got it. Because he um, rest his eyes for a mm -hmm. long time. Yeah. While he was taking a minute. So he got it after he took a minute. So then they had the human thermometer. Then they sped through after that. They sped mm -hmm. through a whole bunch of people that didn't like, get it right. They had the human thermometer lady. And she was like three degrees off to see how cold the water was. They I mean, had this term. woman that the was blood sniffing. Out. She could sniff people. <laughs> sniff. People sniff. Sniff. Like they say, rub some on them, and then she had to match the smell to the to them. And she got That's it right. Kind of weird. She got it right though. So then they had the human radar gun, and he was. They throw a baseball, and he was like one mile per hour mm -hmm. off, which was pretty cool. She was like that. Got some funk on it. That's what they said. Then they had this girl. She's like the human touch, and she had to touch 
what she felt the man of. It said to pick which man it was. She felt that while she was blindfolded. And she got it wrong, too. <laughs> so then they just went to the girl. She This girl, she can play piano. Her name is Caitlin Benton. And she know music. If she hear a car honk outside, she'd be like, oh, that's in that B major or whatever. And she can actually see when somebody's playing the piano without even hearing what song they're playing. That's what her challenge was, too. They, was play, they played three songs for her. And she just by looking at the keys, she can see what they playing, mm -hmm. and she knew it too. Now, who was the player that he got, he was playing? Paul Schaefer was plus pianist, and so the first song it was a uh, shake it off. She got that one right. The second song was she got all of them right. Right of the Valkyries, and then the other one was the national anthem. Yeah, she got all of them right, but I didn't really see that as no big thing or no real challenge because if she plays the piano she's a pianist she mm -hmm. know her music she can tell she know which keys is which and all she gotta do is think about you know what song it is yeah. that he's playing with the keys so that's not really I didn't see that I didn't know why I even put that in there okay <laughs> I guess I guess Say it's a little bit true it. I guess it's a little bit true yeah I mean, because if, yeah. she, know her music, if she, she know her music, she know I mean, because but people, then it could be different keys. But I mean, people but then that they, play the piano, yeah, they, 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 they don't, they don't, they don't even look at the keys. When they play yeah, the they piano. don't. They just know the keys. So, so she'd have to be like B major, na 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 na. Yeah, she already, she already know. So that would really be okay. the challenge. Well, it is kind of a little hard because if you play the piano, it could be like two songs that are the same keys. But I guess she really, really do know her stuff. Then yeah. So then it was his last, the last contestant is Louis Angel, and he can memorize everything. His challenge was called Meet and Greet. He met a hundred other audience members. He had to remember their hometown, they either their name or a, a characteristic of them. So they switched mm -hmm. it up on him. So the first guy, they picked five people out of the hundred people. Mm -hmm. So the and first they showed guy, a picture. They showed a picture of one, the first guy, and he had to get his name and his hometown. So he was like, uh. Oh, he was doing a whole bunch of hand gestures and movements. He creates a picture yeah. of what, he, of what happened earlier yeah which is really cool a picture and a story he created a story he meets somebody mm -hmm. then he created a picture and a story to go with that person yeah so that way he can remember it because he was like bailey leaves mm -hmm. uh trees and he was like bailey s and that's how he got that mm -hmm. and then it was the uh they went through that then they showed up then they showed two names then he had to put the the characteristic with the hometown. So he's like, he got a nice smile and he's from this. The guy's teeth was kind of tiny. It wasn't a nice smile. Well, it wasn't that big of a smile. <laughs> but then the, he had the girl, he was like, uh, Paris, I see an Eiffel Tower going over her big hair. Uh, and I think she's from Chicago, Illinois. And it was, her name was Paris S. from Chicago, Illinois. Mm -hmm. like, eh, eh. So he got that right. Um, he got all of them right. And like, the last guy he picked was plain. The last guy with the red hair oh, yeah. from Westchester, Pennsylvania. Yeah. No offense. Anyway, so. <laughs> so he got it right. And they was picking the grand prize winner. And um, they asked the panelists who was their favorite people. Mike Tyson said he liked the piano girl. Mary said she liked the gymnastic girl. And the doctor liked the human calculator. And I knew, our news and win. It was Louis Angel, the last guy with the memory stuff. Because his know. was really, I don't know, I just liked him. I guess his was more interesting, kind of more. I just liked him. He had a good personality. I, I like the chef. I liked him too, but he didn't get none of the things. I right, so don't that care. He won. He's gonna get his own show. Though. Hopefully, he gets on show because he is bringing it. What well, happened if the guy we bring the money? What's that? Yeah. Oh my God, Will Brown. Will Brown. We love you, Will. Yes. So that was it for this you think of the show? series premiere. Um, I guess it's a pretty good show. I mean, it's interesting. I don't know if it's gonna last. What you know? did you like about it? Huh? What did you like about it? <laughs> I was gonna say they could throw in performances. Um, I don't know. I just. I guess it's nothing that you... I don't really have, like, a not like about it. I gotta watch more of it. I wish... I think I'm gonna find out that it was fake. Yeah. Because, yeah, I really... I did, oh, I didn't like how when they was doing... When the cowboy... The Navy guy was doing the cowboy girls. And they was switching through the people's... Like, it was a TV yeah. show. Like, because they want to just get it over with, with all the 15 girls. I kind of didn't like that. But... See, that's what I'm saying. I think his was fake. I don't... I'm not saying that his... Thing, like his memory is fake. Mm -hmm. Maybe he can't really do all that, memorize all mm -hmm. that stuff. But that setup, that whole thing was fake on that show. That was fake. Because yeah. you don't answer a phone just by doing this. You can't answer a phone like that. That's ridiculous. Yeah, so I don't know if it's going to come on every week. That's what I'm talking about. It's going to come on every week. I don't know. It seems like it's <laughs> that's a one time thing, special event thing. And it probably shouldn't come on anymore. Well then, yeah, I'm not. So I'm probably that was, most likely will not watch it again because it's gonna be something else on that I'm gonna watch. Oh yeah, because the day Cause night, a lot of the stuff that's come on. on, Recovery Road come on, and Kate Shades, Michelle, Shades of Blue, and Sh Shades of Blue come Shades on the seventh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so guys, everything's coming on. Everything, oh, and tomorrow, Shannara Chronicles is coming on too. Mm -hmm. Woo. 
guys. So, so everything's coming on, but that was it. So like, comment, subscribe, and share. share. And watch all of our videos. We got new videos up here, and we're going to have a whole bunch of other new videos going on. Share so, in the description below, guys. And we'll see you guys next, next time. Cheers. Woo, we need an outro song. No. No. It's gone now.